The road not taken. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveler, long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could. I was scheduled to work at the ED. I found that this gentleman was walking in through the main entrance. I said, sir, have a seat. Are you here to be seen? He said, yes, I'm in a lot of pain. I made it a point that he was registering. I walked back and I got the charge nurse, took him and take a look at him. And once she assessed him and looked at him, she took him right away to the back. A couple of days later, he walked in with a big smile with some flowers in his hands and chocolate, saying, thank you, Lord. I said, because of you, I still have a leg. During um, the training to become a transport, we mainly just went to the nurse, got the ticket, then went to the patient. But what I like to do, I usually just go in way before I can meet the nurse and get the ticket and talk to the patient, let them know I'm from transport because I know the hospital can be nerve wracking. I like to do whatever I can to make their stay comfortable in the hospital. I had a gentleman, he was 82, and he just had found out he had to go for open heart surgery. Every time I would go for hourly rounds, he would tell me that he was fine and he didn't need anything. I told him, just anything, anything you need or can think of and I can do it for you. He said, well, you know, my room feels a little bit cold. Um, so I went over and I looked at the thermostat and it was broken. I called facilities and they were able to come up and fix his thermostat and get his room to a comfortable temperature. On his journey to heal, he was able to just relax and not worry about being cold. I was here on a, on a Saturday and uh, it was brought to my attention by my secretary that uh, a patient was very distraught on the phone. She had a stat MRI of her breast done and that she had to go to the doctor on Monday and she wanted the report, which normally never happens on the weekend. It had only been a day and I know to her it probably felt like, you know, years. So I told her I was going to get it done for her. I was going to get it done for her that day, no problem, um, and I did whatever I could and she was able to pick it up that day and within tears and she was very, very grateful and it was a wonderful experience. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveler long I stood and looked down one as far as I could. Two roads diverged in a wood and I I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference.